Good day everyone, welcome to the Proud Geek channel. Today we are reviewing the application Tiny Scanner, a PDF converter for your pictures. So let's start it. And it's actually pretty he easy how it works. Um, you can either choose a picture from your own gallery. So if you check down right, there is this picture icon. And you can go in your camera roll and choose a picture that you want to be converted into a PDF or take a picture yourself which is uh, really the fun part because you know you often some companies will ask you to send them PDF through emails and you have uh, documents that, and you don't have a scanner at home you don't want to go to the post office or at uh, Staples to have a scan made to to be put it on a USB key it's gonna be some trouble you don't know what you will do uh, so what you can do is use an application like tiny scanner and I'll press the little plus button to start and now you can see you will see here my camera starting so you see everywhere you see that I'm recording this video right now this feels like uh, inceptions you know and I took out a little piece of paper right here so here's what to do uh, this piece of paper is for blood donations which I do every two months by the way this is my good deeds uh, so you go above it you take the picture you can or not enable the flash so I'll take the picture here the flash started and what you can do you can actually resize it to decide what you want to send so you see here this is my document I'm gonna resize it to so that it fits uh, well on the edges uh, of course it is hard to see where you are with your fingers uh, above it but you know it is better than nothing uh, after a bit of work you will you will get the touch um, and you know you can ask to be full screen or just resize it down with the little button up right so I'll just resize it to what I want uh, you know because sometimes it will take a picture and it will not recognize part of the document here you see didn't recognize the blue line at the top so I resi resize it I place the I, pr I press the next button if it's okay if I not satisfied with the picture I can retake it uh, of course I can flip the picture if I want to with the button upper with the upper left button so let's do next and now this is what it looks like of course the flash was on so now you can see the middle of the picture uh, doesn't appear pretty well so I can change the color and try to see if it works better uh, you know when you check uh, down there so there are there is nothing satisfying here so what I will do is that uh, I will yeah of course you can put back the colors with the icon up left or black and white with the middle one uh, I, so it depends on, on what you want so I will retake this picture I will disable Oops, that's not what I want to do. I will retake, disable the flash, and this time it should appear well. Do the focus. There you go. There was no flash. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll skip the resizing part here. Uh, and just do next. And see, perfect. You see everything you need. Uh, of course, you know. You, see, you will sometimes see your fingers holding the papers this is thing that happens but this is pretty cool it is pretty useful you don't need the internet to do that and when you're satisfied you press the little check mark uh, bottom right and it gets actually saved into the application and then if you want uh, you can see the different picture you took you can rename them and if you want to send them well you have choice here you can send it to 
uh, Dropbox, Evernote, Google Drive, uh, OneDrive, you can send it by email, by fax, you can open it in an application and even print it. So once this is done, you send it to yourself through emails or fax and then you have this picture in your computer that you can use and send as a PDF to the company who wants it. It is a free application. You have any, nothing to lose trying it. I highly recommend it. You can of course take more pictures if you want. Uh, so take like five, six of them, put them in a bundle and have like this document of 15 pages sent to you through emails. Uh, this is also useful when you're a student, uh, you go to the library and you don't want to make copies of uh, pages of a book because it sometimes it costs money and you don't have and you don't know how it works. So you just take pictures of the pages. Of course, it's not perfect. Um, so, uh, but you know, you can read what's written and that's the most important part. Here I will rename it blood donation uh, card. So there you go. It is saved here. I can send it to me. Uh, do I want to write Tiny Skyner? Remind me later. So this is a cool application. It is useful. I recommend it to anyone who often have to deal with uh, sending documents and uh, sometimes have trouble using its scanner or you know just how it is placed. It is a pain to use. So pretty cool, pretty nice application. Uh, recommended to you, Tiny Scanner. It is free. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed this review. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook and make donations on PayPal and Patreon to encourage me to improve this channel and do a lot more stuff. And don't miss the show from the couch every Thursday afternoon. It is a live YouTube show in which we discuss the geek highlights of the week in gaming and technology. It's happening on the official Windows 8 channel. Uh, there is a chat room, you can interact with us, it is pretty relaxed. Every Thursday afternoon at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I hope to see you there everyone and have a great day.